So I'm Satoko, I'm a violinist, um, I also improvise a lot and I, I use my improvisation for my compositions um, and I collaborate with people from anything from classical music background to um, pre-improvisation, a bit more experimental, to working with dancers, so yeah, it's kind of bringing the um, multicultural element into into my practice, yeah. For me, I started improvisation when I was probably much younger before I understood about improvisation. Um, I would listen to music and I would put my music on top or I would play with other musicians and play by ear and improvise on a melody and expand it. Um, I ended up going on tour with um, South African singer who had been established with his particular band for maybe 15, 16 years and they invited me to go on tour with them and I didn't know any of their songs set and it was about 100 songs so it was impossible to learn them all um, so I would go on stage every night um, just listen to them as they were doing their set and join in when I could and I think that's pretty much how I started improvisation. Um, it was kind of scary and exciting at the same time. Um, always kind of very much standing on the edge and just listening really hard, feeling the band, feeling other people around you and just trying to um, there were always spontaneous communications that would indicate when they wanted me to do a solo. Um, I would try and feel when others wanted to join in or do a takeover so it's just very much being in that moment being alive in that moment so for me improvisation is being alive and present in that very moment classical music is all about training and all about analysis and all about it's like staying with one music for many many years and getting to know an old friend but better um for me it's spontaneous music or improvisation is just that first encounter and it's always that first encounter and you you have a conversation so you discover you explore you ask questions you answer you have a joke together you laugh together you yeah think about things together you question things together um for me i think a lot of my training will come through but i'm trying to approach it from a just from a more instinctive level rather than from an analytical level so when i'm improvising i don't analyze which i do a lot when i'm performing classical music i would say or at least preparing for performance in classical music sometimes with improvisation i meet the musicians on stage sometimes we're live it's being filmed live or it's being broadcasted live and it's it's there's zero preparation, there's zero conversation about timings or where we're going with this. It's all about feeling each other and giving each other that space to explore. <laughs>
the violin, I am going to be biased, um, probably because it has the capacity to express um, nuances and subtleties very honestly. I mean, if I was tense in one part of my body, you can hear it. If I was relaxed in another part of my body, you can hear it. It's just the responses are so instant and it's so such a sensitive instrument. I think is one of the um, the Lord Menuhin said that it was, he thought it was probably the closest instrument to human voice and I guess I probably approach, I do approach it like a voice, like a human voice and there's a very human and transparent and honest element to it. I love um, performing Steve, uh, Steve Beresford. Um, I, what I love about his music is that there's always a sense of humour in it um, and there's always a little bit of a I, I feel like an insider joke and, and I think the last time we performed um, there was a member of the audience who kind of like wanted to whistle in a tune. Um, I remember at Christmas time we were performing and he was doing like Christmas carol but undercover. So some members of the audience got it, heard it, others didn't. Um, it's, it's just always charming, it's always full of charm and humour and I think music should always be enjoyable, it should always be fun, it should always be um, done with a little little smile and a wink, you know, and, and if you lose that magic, that spark, if you lose that joy of it, I think we've lost it all. So um, I love performing with Steve just because it keeps me excited about music, keeps me exploring, keeps me um, listening out for those little jokes, but also at the same time, it's, um, I feel like we really pushed each other um, to the edge of our capacities and edge of our limits and those limits always change, the bar is moving and uh, things are very fluid and so yeah, it keeps me alive and awake, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Um, playing with people I don't know I think can be uh, both exciting and scary aspect. I think for me because I have been improvising for a few years already and is I know that it's an adventure, I know that it's about discovery and it's also the journey, the musical journey that you make together, you find together. For me it's really exciting but there's always a sense of I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but then even with established musicians that I've been working with for many years, each performance I'm always feeling I have no idea what's going to happen next. So I think fresh input is good because I think different musicians pull out different things from you. You respond in a different way just because of their musical language and vocabulary is different. The way they approach their in instrument is different and you instinctively start to mirror, mirror some elements of their artistry I think. Um, so to meet people on the stage for the first time is always scary and exciting at the same time. I love performing with Terry. Um, for me I play, I find myself 
responding differently when I'm playing with just uh, a, a, with a drummer because it's purely a percussive instrument and um, I find myself kind of trying to make the violin into almost like a percussion as well so uh, the way I approach it would be very um, different from if I'm playing with another melodic instrument um, it also gives me the free reign to go totally crazy melodically um, but also I sh there's a mind shift mindset shift I think that happens when I'm playing with a drummer I feel absolutely um, free to explore the violin and transform it into a percussive instrument so for me it's um, it's I find that it draws out a different side of my playing that I don't necessarily discover with other instruments. So it's always a very exciting collaboration. Terry is um, incredible powerhouse. He's um, he could just go on and on and on, and we find ourselves moving from like flamenco to rock to all kinds of different genres. And um, I love the. Um, also the sensitivity that he has of creating different he never um, he every single sound he makes I feel is kind of with sensitivity even when he's going full out is beautifully sensitive and he's very aware of the performance that he's performing with and the capacity of the instruments as well so he adapts incredibly well so you I always feel very safe playing with Terry but also um, I know that his stamina is incredible and that we can go full blast as long as we can till till we fall off the edge really um, and uh, it's always an exciting adventure. Um, for me, I think art in general, whether it's music or it's dance or visual arts, is um, it, it ignites a sensation, ignites a feeling, gives, ignites a mood, ignites inspiration. Um, so for me, um, whether it's coming from movement or, or from visual arts or from something that I wear or I see or I experience or even fragrance, um, I think it, it, it sort of um, ignites something within you and it sparks off inspiration and a train of thought and train of emotions and for me music is speaking about those experiences um, even I think dancing and acting is, is communicating those experiences that you experience I think it's as artists for me it's very important to experience those things to enjoy it to explore um, and that's why for me when I go on stage I am in costume I am probably in character somewhere that that has some kind of influence from the costume that I'm wearing um, I am also following me because I think you can never, um, as a musician, as an artist, you never drop every the life that you've lived, the emotions that you've, you've experienced. That is, you are very much in tune with that all the time. But for me, it all connects and it all creates um, 
something unique in that moment, in that special time. And I, I just want to first experience the essence of that moment and then secondly to communicate it as transparently as possible. Um, so I think in terms of improvisation I have an album out with Baron Weston and Hannah Marshall. I have one out with um, Terry, um, Terry Day. I have one out with um, John Russell um, and I'm sure that I have, we have um, elements of our duo together with Steve Beresford. But in terms of um, classical music, I have my sol solo album, which will come out on iTunes the end of this year, maybe beginning of next year, um, 2018, um, which is kind of all of the classical pieces that that um, was had a very sentimental value for me from childhood growing up. Um, and in terms of composition, is on YouTube and we'll, we can put a link link towards that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.